Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, there is a lot to talk about this morning. Not only the most impressive and biggest snowfall that's going to be in the northeast off this nor'easter, because they didn't really get a whole bunch this year yet. A lot of winds are picking up on that. We still have this next atmospheric river flooding still coming towards California, and it is going to be a strong one. It's already going to put you in a moderate level. Plus, we have another cold front coming down. Update from the one we had yesterday could bring potential southern snow. It is trending with all three models. Plus, the storm that's hitting the west coast is dropping so much snow, another potential eight feet. This is going to be historic, guys. Last time this happened was 1995. Now, give me about 30 seconds. Let me go through these warnings that we do have and all these dots you see. This is your river gauges. All the pink ones is already at flood stage. But you do have high wind warning and high wind watches all the way to the 15th at 7 a.m. Plus, you have all the winter storm warnings. You have the flood watches all over the state, even southern Oregon. This is till the 14th on a lot of those. Plus, what's going over here in the southeast? All this pink is all under a freeze warning or a freeze watch. And this is going all the way until the 15th in the morning. This is going to be a couple of days of these temperatures. And the nor'easter and the northeast. This is dropping a lot of snow, still dropping feet of snow. That's why you have all these winter storm warnings. But you also have the coastal flood watch and the high wind watch right along the Boston area. So you really need to watch out for that. So not only the flooding that you have going on, because you can see your river gauges down here, you're already in the pink level. This is already flooding and there's going to be more. It's going to be spinning counterclockwise. It's going to be putting all this onshore flooding and you have a flood watch right along the coast. So you do have this all the way until the 15th in the morning as well. But we are still having two storms at the same time, then the potential southern snowfall. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year along, and I'll give you as much detailed information as I can. And you can still see this from your tropal pause up above. So you're still going to have this atmospheric river still come in. It's still doing the biggest amount to the south. You see how it bursts towards Mexico, but you still get it along the southwest. A big banding that comes across, especially Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit further to the south. Then we have that nor'easter just building up and it is strengthening up in the northeast, almost getting in the benchmark, almost a proper nor'easter. Then as we go Wednesday into Thursday, we do have severe weather. Chances for hail, large hail, and damaging wind comes coming with that and potential a few tornadoes. Now you can go read about this. The link is in the description so you can read the full story. The Sierra Nevada snowpack hits the biggest level in nearly 30 years. And you can see this here. Already over 200%. And the last time we were like this was 1995. The last time before that was all the way back in 1968. This is going to be a historical amount of snowpack. Now, I'll get to the nor'easter in just a second, but you can see on vorticity that as that system comes in, you get some vorticity for northern and central California. So you could have a severe watch for this system as it comes in because you have a very strong surface low forming up. Then as it goes Wednesday into Thursday, it ejects all that into the central plains and the south central, and you have that severe weather outlook. Still going to the upper Midwest, still bringing a lot of snowfall still. Now we got the latest run, the 12Z doubloon data from National Weather Service from their model run. And you can see all the precipitation in Northeast. I will get to that, but look at all the rainfall that's going to add up on the West Coast. And this is only until Wednesday at 7 p.m. And it's going to be extremely heavy for the coast of California in the north. The higher elevations, Sierra Nevada, are going to see over eight inches of precipitation. And Southern California is going to see a lot of heavy flooding as well. Very heavy amounts of rainfall coming with this atmospheric river. Thank God it's going further south, but now that it's going further south, it is bringing more to Southern California that wasn't there before. And this is still keeping you in a moderate level risk. So for today, you have the marginal and the slight risk, including the moderate for Southern Oregon going down Northern California, as well as the Sierra Nevada. For tomorrow is going to grow again and go further down California where you have the slight risk and the moderate level going all the way down towards Los Angeles. It is going to be a lot more flooding. There's going to be a lot more flooding videos that you're going to see all over the place. Plus the Northeast. For today, you do have some coastal flooding. This is your flooding so far. It's just a marginal. I'm sure this will be ramped up. 
Plus, as this storm comes in for Thursday and Friday, it is bringing flash flooding to the south as well. So for Thursday, you have a marginal and a slight risk for flash flooding. And for Friday, it will move further to the southeast, a big marginal for flash flooding with that system as it comes through the central plains on Thursday and Friday. At the same time, you can see with the model from National Weather Service that by that time, by Wednesday at 7 p.m., is still expecting over 100, 101 inches of snowpack. This is bringing another 8 feet of snow on top of what you already have. Plus, the video is in the description, guys, so you can go watch it all the way through. Support the storm chaser. He really put himself at risk here. This is this real nasty wall cloud that came through California yesterday, put a lot of tornado warnings, a lot of hail that came down. Not quite sure if a tornado touched down or not, but it was close. Look how close it just came to the ground and just hovered by the whole time. That's what I got right now. Please. That's crazy. I'm going to get out of here. That sucker's twisting. I think that's a tornado. That looks pretty wicked right there. And you can see with your cape, with your lift, as it comes through for Wednesday and Thursday, you get a lot of warm temperatures, a lot of warm dew points, and it brings a strong lift for Texas into Oklahoma, even carries a little bit for Arkansas and Louisiana. It is going to come right through. This is where it's bringing that next snowpack to the upper Midwest. This is going to be severe weather in the south. Chances for damaging winds, a few tornadoes, and large hail. And you can see with the lightning strikes with the Euro that as you go through Thursday morning, it just bursts up with a big dry line pushing to the east. Brings you a lot of chances for hail. This is lightning strikes. And when you have the white like that, that is indicative to large hail. All Thursday afternoon, especially for Texas, that is going to be a lot of hail right there Thursday afternoon. All the way for central and eastern Texas all night long. Then it goes further southern. Look at all these... Lightning strikes in the white at the max. This is at 1 o'clock in the morning for Friday for southern Texas going all the way to the Gulf Coast. It is going to be a real nasty storm, especially Thursday evening and overnight for Thursday. And you can see the whole setup here. So as we go into the afternoon, we go into the nor'easter. I still got to get to that. Why you still have that atmospheric river still coming Tuesday and Wednesday. And as you can see, you get a strong surface low forming up. And that's why I said it's a good chance you could get some vorticity, good, good chances for some spin-ups of tornadoes for North and Central California for Tuesday going into Wednesday. That also is going to eject in through the Central Plains, bring snow to the upper Midwest, major snow for Thursday and severe weather in the South. Large hail and a lot of chances for damage and winds. But there already is a day four risk of a 15% chance of severe weather for Thursday going into Friday. Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Arlington, Texas. And you can see here from National Weather Service, there is a chance for supercells to form, bringing you large hail, damage and wind threat, and there is enough low-level shear where it could support a few tornadoes. So that is a possibility. But for today, when you get this nor'easter, it is still going to be a lot of wet snow. This is going to be wet, heavy snow, and this is going to cause some potential power outages, guys. Plus, you have the winds, so it is going to be a very dangerous storm. So you can see as you go through later tonight into the early morning hours, it starts making its move and bringing snowpack towards northern New Jersey by the time you get to tomorrow morning. The rain will stop and it will transition into snow. Then as it goes through tomorrow afternoon, it goes towards Boston. And it brings it right on Boston, still bringing you a good chance for heavy snowfall for you, Long Island, for the whole northeast. Mostly north and west of you is where all the big impacts is still going to be. But this is tomorrow night. going to sit there all the way until Wednesday morning when it finally pulls out. But there is a chance for the blizzards as well. If you can notice, you do have chances for 40 and the purple is getting up to the 50s. So you're getting high 40s and 50 miles per hour wind gusts, especially for Pennsylvania, Northern Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Southern Maine, Rhode Island. You're all gonna be in a lot of high winds for a long period of time. You need it for at least three hours for it to be ground blizzards blowing sideways. But this is going to be a lot longer than three hours. So I believe there is going to be some 
blizzard warnings coming in out of this system. And the latest snowfall from the Euro shows a lot of snow. So everybody in this very light, you're gonna get one, maybe two inches, Pittsburgh, maybe an inch, Philadelphia, you're gonna get missed out of this one. But it's gonna bring an inch towards Long Island. But as it goes towards New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Y'all are all looking at potential still two feet of snow. A lot of people is getting 12 inches to 18 inches of snowfall out of this. So I will put this link in the description. You can zoom all the way into your area and see exactly what your snowfall rating is. That way you know what to expect. There are so many people that live over here. It'd be impossible to get to all of y'all. So please go to the link in the description. Click on it for your snowfall rate, your zoomable snowfall, and see exactly what you have. Plus, the update you on the next cold front coming is still the 18th through the 24th, and it is doing a nice deep dip through central Texas and dipping again through the southeast. Now, this is right at six or seven days, but you can see with GFS that it is bringing all this cold air all the way to the south by the 19th. By the 20th, it carries towards Texas real strong, and by the 21st, it zings around towards the southeast, bringing all these cold temperatures with it, bringing chances for a southern snowstorm. And you can see also that it's trending with both models. So by March 20th, this is where your coldest temperatures will be coming down, and you see it goes all the way down towards northern Mexico. Freezing temperatures come down towards Texas, then the southeast once again. This is the GFS. This is the Ural. Showing the same thing, bringing 40s to northern Mexico, but it's a little bit higher of a dip where it's going to be northern Texas bringing the freezing temperatures and dipping early for the deep south and not to southeast. So it's still unknown yet as far as what's going on with the track of this storm. I think potentially it could be a bigger snowfall right here towards the south central. Maybe not hit these temperatures right here in the deep south and then a bigger snowfall over here for the southeast. Now take this with a grain of salt. It's still seven days away and we have to fine tune it, of course. But you can see how you got your nor'easter. We got that next system coming to the upper Midwest and is bringing potentially snow according to the Euro over here for Texas as that starts to come through. Now you also see that the Canadian agrees with the Euro that it could be potentially a foot is too far to know, but major snowfall for Northern Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico. But look how it brings snow all the way into Northern Mexico. Then it dips again by Arkansas and Oklahoma and goes up on a high ridge. It's just too far to know for sure. However, GFS does what GFS does. It's overdoing it a little bit and it's showing it could be a potential major snowfall over a foot. It's showing two feet for central to Southern Texas as it goes up on that ridge and brings snowfall for the upper half of the deep south, as well as Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, maybe even North Carolina getting in on this, and Virginia. Too far to know for sure, but we know the cold air is dipping. There is a system moving through, and all three major weather models is showing something is coming out of that. But so far, that's sometime around the 19th, the 20th, and then going up on that high ridge on the 21st. So it's around that time span. Now remember, we are picking our winner of the solar weather station for today. We are giving away another one for tomorrow. This is for all of 2023. I want to do this all year, every other day for you guys. You are the best. So our winner for today is Mark Leader. Congratulations, Mark. Great name. <laughs> you are the winner of the solar weather station for today. Make sure you contact me at this email, weathermanplustoday at gmail.com. That way I can get this out to you as fast as possible. Thanks for the updates, Mark. Have a great Sunday, weatherman. Thank you so much for being a supporter of my channel, Mark. God bless you and your family. Hope you have a very blessed day. And once again, great name. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. We do have another one we are giving away for tomorrow. So you got these storms going all day and all afternoon long. It's starting off in Washington, is going to be going through Oregon, especially a big banding here that passes through around 3 p.m. for Oregon. Some very heavy banding of some rain coming as well as some heavy snow in the higher elevations. But then it's going to move over towards California as you go overnight into the early morning hours. Right around 5 and 6 o'clock, you're going to have this Big old plume of storms coming your way all the way from central to northern California. Five o'clock in the morning, still coming very hard at six. Look at all these storms, seven, eight, very strong storms all the way till noontime. Then it gets away from northern California and that's when it drags off in the afternoon down southern California. 
just going and going. And they have another plume over here that's going to hit even further down south, Southern California and go towards Northern Mexico. So you have a lot of storms coming, not only just California, you have them today for Washington and Oregon, but once you get into the early morning hours, a big old boom is coming towards California. And we can't see the severe weather yet with HRRR on Thursday, but I will update you. So, so far as you go into this afternoon, right when you get around four and five o'clock, you're gonna start getting a lot of storms. But it is gonna start bringing in all this heavy banding of this snow while it's bringing them very heavy storms once it hits those temperatures. So you can see it's Northeast Pennsylvania, it's for New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts. By the time you get to eight and nine o'clock, it starts transitioning into good snowfall while you're still getting a lot of storms along the coast. But be aware, that will change. Once you get overnight into the early morning hours, you still have this going all night long, very heavy banding. But once you get into tomorrow morning, then it's gonna start hitting Long Island as it goes around and starts hitting Northern New Jersey as you go into tomorrow afternoon. But this is where it goes towards Boston. This is where it really starts bringing all this heavy banding towards the New England states, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, we get a lot of heavy banding, especially for tomorrow morning for Boston as that comes by and brings all the heavy winds. It could transition into storms again, some freezing rain right after that. But it don't look like it'll be a whole bunch of precipitation after you get that heavy snowfall. So it could stick around, but some of it could wash away while it's doing that. But still, that's going to be a pretty gnarly storm. It's definitely going to be your heaviest snowpack for the whole season which is ridiculous because we are already into mid-march but god bless you all may you have a very blessed week this week happy monday to every single one of you start off positive and you will have a great day and it's true just stay positive in mind god wants the best for you no matter what all negativity is going on out there he wants the best for you at all times so believe that and have a great day because you are great guys amen now today i want to talk to you with psalm 71 one through four. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing the information and getting people alerted to what's going on so they can prepare because some people have to save to prepare. They can't just go out and get materials. So thank you so much. That's most important that I love here is that y'all help share this information. God bless every single one of you. Please be careful through all this. I know a lot of y'all excited about all this. A lot of you are not. Just take precautions because it is going to be powerful and that can get dangerous, guys. Above all things, all glory goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he bless you and keep you safe every day of your life. You and your families. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day, everyone.